Hi guys, welcome back to the Inner Circle. I'm Brendan Wright. I'm Tyler Phillips. And I'm Lawrence Algie. And uh, before we start talking about Sarah Burgess as a loser, some of you from the White Shop might be wondering, why is there blood spatters on Brendan's shirt? I'm not telling you. Okay, so Sarah Burgess, I feel like she's my least favorite character in the movie. She is a loser. Really? I actually <laughs> really like her. I, okay. In, like terms, in terms of her character, like, in terms of the character writing, I love, like, it's great. In terms of her as a person, I'm like, uh, uh, okay. She's trash. She's, as a person. okay. I also, I don't want to get into spoilers, um, but I, overall, this movie is like, I just want to take the script, just want to change some things a little bit. To just make it an entirely different experience. Otherwise, it's, this movie is low key to me, just kind of a basic kind of. But yeah. But, okay, but you have to admit, I mean, this is a Netflix film. It's not going for the most extravagant indie esque. See, thing. I'm tired of that. See, I, I <laughs> you see, I don't like that excuse. I was like, I don't, I don't, I didn't like it when people were like it's a cable movie. I'm not gonna like it here. Yeah. I, I make fun of Lifetime, even though everyone knows it's Lifetime. I'll still make fun of yeah. the fact. That when they have conversations on those movies, I can see the recorder on their cell phone. You can see the recorder. Good point. Yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna pick on yeah. it. So, can, can we talk about the character design? Because I think the like the actual character design of each person was great. Everybody like. <laughs> so, let's talk about the character design. Each character was pretty well thought out, and I think each one. Had the style for what their character. They looked to like a basic. Perfect. They look like basic archetypes. They look like thirty year olds trying to play high schoolers. Okay, but that's every high school movie. <laughs> but that's every high school movie. Yeah, it is. It's like wow. I wish my girlfriend looked like that. She isn't gonna look thirty. Yeah. Don't ask, don't ask me why I liked how old women look. <laughs> if we if we actually had a movie with actual high schoolers, we'd have such babies, man. I'm That's pretty cute. sure, like, Big Time Rush, when they recorded their stuff, was, like, they were in their 25 uh, to 28 uh, range. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I was going to get into that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, I don't know. I'm just tired of, like, it was bad when Tobey Maguire was a high school Spider-Man. It's yeah. just as bad here. Speaking and of which, I watched Spider-Man 3 last night again. <laughs> oh, it was just, It was worse. It was worse. But... Yeah, so Sarah Burgess, she was she was played by a good. I feel like she was a good actor in this and played it really well. But again, the, I couldn't escape the thirty year old playing this character. I, the main problem is this movie. I'm trying to think. I like. I think the cinematography is good enough. There's nothing special about it. Yeah. I feel like the story is good enough. There's nothing special about it. The characters are. Um, even the character development, which there are some characters that go through an arc, I still feel like it's basic. Like yeah, it, it is. And they don't really show the change that much. It's just very simplistic change. And, like, I mean, it's no, nothing like they have their big defining moment of the change. It's just it happens. The only non spoily change that's from the trailer that I will say, I'm kind of mad that they kind of started the cheerleader off as, like, a... A me- excuse, uh, excuse my language. Uh, bleep, bleep it out if you want. I don't care. A mega bitch. You know, she's like, um, she's just super rude. And the thing is, like, about twenty minutes later, almost less than that, she's just like, calming down and just being kind of like prideful and like arrogant and stuff. And I'm like, why did you even try to make her seem like a stereotypical bully when she never was that at all? And it's like, it just felt like really bad writing. Yeah, it's just like when you tried to make your shirt having blood on it seem like a murder scene when actually it was a bo- nosebleed. I was gonna save it to the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, now to. you know if you're like if I'm rubbing my nose during the rest of the podcast, it's just blood. That's all it is. I had to. I wanted them to change. Well, don't. Can sorry, we go into spoilers? Yes. Was, I wish they would have wrote them to be a lesbian couple. I kind of did too. I wanted to be the cheerleader in Sarah. I could see it. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I was shipping it. The she whole was time. warming up to her. She was at the party saying, hey, she's cool. Let's just hang out with her. And the cheerleader is actually the better character of the two in she terms is. of, like, 
Not not in terms of writing. Well, yeah. But in terms of personality. Yeah, okay, I would. The why don't you guys like Sierra? I need to know. Do you like her? I. Uh, well. Would you like to stand of, trial? <laughs> yes, I'll stand trial. I mean, <laughs> the entire movie, she just well, for most of the movie, she had the best attitude toward everything. You know, she never mm-hmm. let anything that they did to her or said to her get her down. She was always just kind of like, okay, I don't know, I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I like that. I had so much respect for that because you know most movies it's like oh I'm so sad everyone hates me she was never like that ever well I mean what about when she ran into her mom and was like mom you don't understand because you were pretty besides that point besides that point okay what about the point where she posted that picture okay that was the point where I stopped rooting for her I was like Sierra no that's what we're talking about she seemed like way more of a competent character way more competent and that's like series of events gave her credit for because it's like one kiss and like she probably should put two and two together she's smart enough to put two and two together oh it's probably because blank and blank because he thought that he that she was the girlfriend and he thought that they kissed before and so honestly yeah that and so she should have assumed or not assumed and so when that happens I was like I, I was like wow okay they just really wanted you to get to the end um, they just they just wrote that just cause. And can we talk about like unnecessary characters? Let's talk about the the black uh, gay character. Yeah, he was he was pretty yeah. unnecessary, but we yeah. No, there was a line in there that was like, "Is he gay? Oh, that'd make things good for me or something." He he was basically implying that he was gay. Yeah, did not catch that. It was yeah. literally a one liner. Uh, but yeah, I, it, that was all we had. But besides well, him being the stereotypical gay best friend. Which I don't like that. I don't like when, like, rom-coms do that. Like, they insert a stereotypical gay character and don't really develop their character past that yeah. point. And he, they did try to give him a uh, friend you betrayed me arc, which doesn't make sense. It wasn't like she betrayed him and he didn't seem like the character type or that would be, like, two days away from her. Ugh! You hate me. And it's so underdeveloped, it made me question why it's even a part of the movie. Yeah, all she really did was ditch him one or once or twice, which I mean, me and Brandon have done that to each other multiple times. Yeah, and we're still friends. I, I mean, they tried to make it so you could assume it was more than once or twice. Like the entire time she was tutoring tutoring Veronica, I think they were trying to say she was blowing him off. I didn't think about that actually. I don't like, think that they he didn't really develop it well. I did not like that. I did notice that it bothered me that he was there. But he was kind of just there. And as much as he's supposed to be like her best friend, I really didn't feel it most of the time. He just yeah. felt like the writers were like, we gotta have a quirky character. So they wrote him. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, you deliver all the funny lines. Okay. That's literally what, what it was in that like terrible ending shot where he's like, let's all get together and give a hug. I'm like, no! Okay. Um, the ending, I don't know. I was mad at the ending because it could have ended yeah. three ways. I honestly wanted... The boy to get was uh, Veronica. I, I kind of wanted to too, but um, I really wanted him to get with Veronica. I also wanted your other mention of like, I want, the okay, two girls to come together. The two girls to date. I am a Yuri shipper, lesbian shipper. Let's go, let's go. They were there was so much like sexual tension. I felt it. I felt. I swear, I felt it. It's fine. <laughs> Brandon's imagining things. No, I I'm not imagining the sexual parts. I'm imagining the lovey dovey like. Like oh my god, you're the one for me kind of person because like there was some, there was something more there, I felt it. Maybe the reason why she started she stopped her from kissing that boy is because she wanted to kiss her. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, can we also talk about the guy? Like he's he's, he's, he's still basic. the MVP. Like he's basic, but he's also the real MVP. Like you, you know that man. Like once he found out, that's the reaction any guy would have. Just saying, just because we're covering this movie and joking about it in good light, it's not okay to catfish. It's never okay. Why not both? That's what he should have said. Why not both? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Brandon, no, that's not how this works. Why not not both? (laughs) It's like, okay, listen, it's either lesbian coupling or uh, three, not three-way, but like polygamy. I will have it. Or the cheerleader. <laughs> and the, 
<laughs> the football player, <laughs> Veronica. And that's Mrs. okay. Lee. That's my least. That's like my least favorite of my alternate on like alternate reality takes on the movie. Like that's what I'm saying. If I had my hands on that script, that'd be lesbian polygamy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. Okay. Well, Brandon's gonna live in his fantasies. I'll write a fan fiction. I'll send it to you. <laughs> I will read that actually. Um, can we talk about how all of this, all of the problems, were solved just because Sierra wrote a song? And they only hyped her singing up like once or twice in the movie. SoundCloud never saved anybody. <laughs> Tower the Creator? Was he from SoundCloud? I can't remember. I think, wasn't he the one that made like a certain, like, broke a record for views on SoundCloud? Well, he's kind know. of like a meme anyway, so he would climb his way out. This girl was just a teenage girl that's like, I'm going through, I'm just a kid and life is, is a nightmare, nightmare. you know. <laughs> Like, nothing special. I mean, oh, I'm a sunflower. <laughs> Mess off somewhere, Tumblr girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Sarah Burgess, like, I'm sorry. I keep trashing on her, but if she isn't with my, uh, with my lesbian pair, like other half of the lesbian pair, Veronica, I don't like her. Brandon, you should just become a director and make that movie yourself. You're right. I don't know. It's like, it's like listen out. Listen, listen. Lesbian polygamy. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Don't close your books. I gotta tell you about this great idea. So it's a fan fiction. Please, please don't leave. You know? Yeah. So. Anything right, else y'all uh, want to say about the movie? Anything? We're good? Do we want to uh, give our scores? The only thing I want to say is Sierra Burgess is trash for posting the picture of Veronica. She loses was, a lot of her, like... she. That was horrible. Nobody would ever do that. And what dude... Okay, it got very superficial when the dude walked up. Like, ha the dude's away from, like, the computer. I'm going to put the picture on the big screen. But no one would do that. Yeah, this is completely script writing. This is never real life. Never. Considering most high schools don't have boards. Then again, I, I never went to a school that had a hierarchy of I'm the head cheerleader, uh, and I yeah. and I think we kind of grew up in a time where nerd culture was actually becoming popular. Yeah. So like we grew up in a time where slowly it wasn't all the way there. There were still some jocks that were like <laughs> nerds, and then they were laughed at, and the jocks were like, "What's going on? <laughs> this isn't my world." <laughs> it's like you know. Mm-hmm. Like if you have like a Smash tournament like record, people are like, "Oh my God, will you have my babies?" I don't know about that now, but there are... Prove me wrong, in that. <laughs> I feel like just with technology now, there are a lot more people that are coming up as nerds because mm-hmm. of gaming. So I feel I'm like a real a... gamer. <laughs> I have a dream cast. I don't just sit here and play Call of Duty. <laughs> I play Sonic Adventure on three different consoles. <laughs> okay, well, as we go on to... Uh, Talk to our each other about our nerd fandoms. I guess we will see you guys uh, next week with the next podcast. So uh, we don't know what we're covering. This Wait, time. what's our score? Oh yeah, score, score. Um, I'll give it a seven. Seven out of ten. Five point five. Wow. Really, it was also gonna go seven. Sorry guys. I, I really want to hold that script though. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we will see you next week. Bye. Those girls, the boys are chasing, winning all the games they're playing.